A couple of weeks ago, we learned a bunch of ways how to remove elements from an array. This week, we're going to check out a relatively new and extremely easy way to figure out if an element exists in an array. This has, of course, been doable for a long time, but the easiest way to do it was a bit tedious and kludgy. I'll show you that first, and then we'll take a look at the newer, better way. But before any of that, we'll need some data. Here you go. The old way to check and see if something existed in an array was to use find index, which would return a negative 1 if the item you were searching for didn't exist, and thus had no index. It can't return 0 because array indices start at 0, not 1. If you then wanted to produce a true-false value, you'd have to do something like this. I don't know if you caught that, but I almost introduced a bug into that code where I set tris index to true instead of has tris to true. That's kind of the problem with this whole approach. As you can see, this logs true and false, because we do have Yennefer, but we do not have tris. So it works. But it's kind of a lot of lines of code. You could, of course, create a function that gives you true false and allows you to recycle instead of having to do it each time, but blech, right? Not the best. Well, now we've got array.includes, which, you guessed it, checks to see if an array includes a given element. Here's how it works. We should get another set of true and false. Though I do think that the show should include Joey Jim Bob Jr. Joe Johnson in future episodes. Anyway, that's a lot cleaner. You just tell it what to look for. And it goes and looks, and gives you a simple Boolean response. Array modern JavaScript. This works in every modern browser, but won't work in IE, so make sure you polyfill if you need your code to work in legacy browsers. You can also give Array.includes an index from which to start looking, in case for some reason you want to skip the first n entries in your array. So Geralt's only going to show up if you're not skipping the initial index. Check it out. This is, once again, going to give us a true and a false. And it does. That second line tells the JS engine to only start looking from index 3 onward. So, no Geralt. Oh, one last thing. Array.includes only works with basic primitives. You can't find objects, for example. Observe. Save that, and sadly we're going to get a false as our final entry. We'll talk about how to do a deeper search that can help you identify objects within an array next week. See you then.